So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is the very own mask order this time. In this video, we are going to discuss the question minimum cost to make two strings identical. What does the question say? The question says that you have to divide with two strings. In this case, first string is ABCD and the second string is ACDB. So A, B, C, D and A, C, D, B. The question allows you to do a, only one operation. What is the operation? I can add, delete any character. I can delete any character. But the cost to delete a character from string A, that is string X, is given to me as 10. And from string Y, it is given to me as 20. It is given to me as 20. The question wants me to find the minimum cost. The minimum cost I have to pay such that I have to pay such that x becomes equals to y x becomes equals to y that is i will have to remove some characters from x i will have to remove some characters from y and in the end x will become equals to y but i have to do this using minimum cost using minimum cost right you can see the cost of the two operations on x or on y are actually different the length of x and y can also be different in this particular case it is equal but the length can be different as well okay so how will you proceed the question is mentioned mentioned as easy on the GFG platform, so we will do it easily only. The question is just an example of recursion, right? The question is just an example of recursion, right? What will you do? You will just try to delete this character, this character, this character, this character, or you will try out all the combinations. Recursion means try out or explore all cases, all cases. How will you proceed? How will you proceed? So it is very simple. So A, B, C, D indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3. And similarly, A, C, D, B indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3. Moving on, I will keep a pointer here. I will keep a pointer here. My approach says if these two pointers, such as this i and this j, if i equals to equals to j, that is if x of i equals to equals to x of j, in that case, the string is actually matching these two. The string is actually matching this two. So you can say is equals to equals to cost of finding the cost for i minus one and j minus one. That is it cost equals to i minus one j minus one. That is called the function for i minus one and j minus one argument. If that is not the case, then in the else case I will just run. I will run what do I run? I will say else cost equals to minimum of I can do two operations. I can either delete D or B. If I delete D, that means I am actually moving my i to the C. So i minus one. So i minus 1 j or if I am deleting b then it, that, that means I am moving your j to j minus 1 minimum of i minus 1 comma j and i comma j minus 1 right. This will be your recursion. This will be your recursion. These are the recurrence test cases. What is the base case? What is the base case? The base case is if suppose i reaches this part i reaches at the minus 1 right. If i reaches at minus 1 and j is suppose here right. So how many op how many operations do, will I require to actually make the string be equal? So I has reached here. My J is actually here. That means I will have to delete these two characters, right? I will have to delete these two characters. That means J plus 1 into cost of Y will be my answer. So my base case is if I is less than 0, cost equals to J plus 1, cost Y. And similarly, if J is less than 0, it will be I plus 1 into cost X, right? These are my base cases. These are my base cases and these are my recurrence test cases. These are my recurrence test cases, right? So I have just written it down for you so that to save your time, right? I have just written it down for the DP problem of it. So you can see this is a tabulation form actually and this is a recurrence. This is a memoization form. So if I less than 0, return cost of Y into J plus 1. If I J, if J greater than less than 0, cost of X plus 1. DP, simple, right? Memoization approach, right? If x of i equals to equals to y of j, in that case, return dp ij solve of, see, if this is equal, then I will just go to i minus 1, j minus 1 without any adding any cost. But if it is not equal, if it is not equal, that is, this is the else case. So it will be returning the minimum of cost x plus i minus 1, that is delete the ith character or delete the y, uh, jth character, that means cost y, j minus 1, right? So this is the memoization approach. This is the memoization approach of the recurrence we just discussed above here, right? Now, this memoization was giving me a TLE because you know, because uh, memoization actually uses the recursion stack space also, right? So it is actually giving me a TLE, but I can actually use tabulation here. 
the same approach will be converted to tabulation and the code would look, would look something like this but this is these are my four base cases and this is my recurrence relation exactly same nothing changed exactly same nothing changed my answer will be stored at dp n of m right i hope there is no problem this is my tabulation approach and this is running absolutely fine this is running absolutely fine now you might be wondering that in every video i actually code it live right so i will code it live but i will do a better approach i will code the better approach for you what is the approach so we have been given two strings right string x string y right we have to make this equal our target is x equals to equals to y right and to do that i want to find minimum cost i want to find minimum cost right i want to find minimum cost that is i will have to delete minimum that means delete minimum characters from x and delete minimum characters from y right this is the two operation i have to read minimum characters from x and minimum characters from y and minimum characters from y now if you see the string a b c d and the other string was a c d b can you say that this a and this a are actually equal and i can link this b with this b as well this b as this b as well that means i am just really trying to find the longest subsequence longest common subsequence my approach says suppose the length of the longest common subsequence comes out to be ln then the answer will be cost of x multiplied by n minus length that is n was the length of the x plus cost of y m minus length i am not able to justify how is it correct because this is just intuitively and actually visual i am just trying to find the longest common subsequence so that i have to delete minimum number of characters this will help me facilitate deleting minimum number of characters from both the strings right this will help me facilitate deleting minimum number of characters from both the strings and hence i can just get the length from the longest common subsequence and then i can just return cos x multiplied by n minus length cos y multiplied by m minus length and in this way you don't have to learn any other concept any new concept you just have to use the one you used before right now it is time for you to see the code of the problem i will be coding the lcs for those of you who do, who do want the tabulation form of the recurrence relation described above this is the tabulation approach please take a screenshot if you have not tried yet and then after trying uh, look it for the reference right so let us move to the lcs approach code so here we are in the coding section but before starting to code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because it really motivates me right now moving on so i have already copy pasted the code of lcs which has been described above right and now which has been described before also so you can see that also now i will be just doing my lint length equals to lcs of x comma y it is taking x and y as an argument you can see string s and string y now my approach will just be return cost x multiplied by uh, x dot length minus length plus cost of y multiplied by y dot length minus length hope it will work fine let us try to compile and run it it should work fine for the lcs i have used a tabulation approach because i am able to see that uh, other approach of lcs actually gives a tle most probably in the lead code as well as gfg so please try to do the code in the uh, tabulation form only if you do not know about it learn it right okay so once you see this streak and thank you for watching thank you for all your love and we'll meet tomorrow with a new video till then keep watching stay tuned and keep coding thank you have a nice day